Hi, if you are planning to control some of your household electrical devices like lights, fans, um, using a cheap uh, Wi-Fi module and uh, without going for an Arduino or a Bluetooth device. So this is the best examples for you. So here you can see that I'm using a ESP8266 uh, E12 uh, Wi-Fi serial module and uh, four relay module so here uh, for this example i'm going to use only uh, two relay from the four relay module board um, <clears throat> with this uh, serial wi-fi module uh, you can control up to um, nine devices at your home so this is really cheap uh, this device uh, i bought for five dollars which is really cheap in the uh, many uh, online uh, shops so you can go for it and uh, if you want to automate your home uh, to control the electrical devices so uh, if you you having a very low budget like uh, you have only a uh, $20 so this is a perfect uh, uh, Wi-Fi module you can buy so you can control uh, up to nine devices <clears throat> so this is my setup that I have connected the relay board to the Wi-Fi module here as you can see I've connected uh, two pins of the Wi-Fi mo module to the relay module uh, I'm using a 9 volt battery to power the relay so here this uh, Wi-Fi module comes with a, a battery holder so we have to use a 3 into WA battery for this uh, Wi-Fi module and this Wi-Fi model also comes with the Android app which is really useful to control electrical devices or any devices you want so I'm going to turn this Wi-Fi module on so once the Wi-Fi module is turned on you have to <clears throat> connect it with the Wi-Fi in your Android device so this is a name for the Wi-Fi module that is AI Thinker and the password for this module is also AI uh, iPhone Thinker connecting to this module so it's connected now So once the module is connected, all you have to do is go to the Android app that is comes with this module. So, so this is the Android app that is called the IoT Manager that comes with this uh, Wi-Fi module. So I'm turning the app. On the device so I'm, I'm using the first uh, GPIO 0 pin and GPIO second pin so I'm going to use only these two pins to control the first and second light <clears throat> I'm going to turn the main switches on so let's control this <clears throat> Let's turn the first device on and the second device. I'm going to turn off the first one and the second one. I'm going to turn on both. Turn off both. So this is uh, really easy to control. So you see here you can you have a uh, uh, nine GPIOs here, so you can control up to nine devices with the um, Android software that comes with the Wi-Fi module so you can also control this device from a very <coughs> far distance I've already checked with the app <coughs> so 
uh, this is uh, very useful uh, so you can also go and buy this cheap ESP8266 and try your own projects and you can also load your own firmware and like write your own Android program for this and control many applications as like um, you can also control a robo with this you can go for uh, many applications so I recommend to buy <laughs> this uh, I'm not marketing for this so I feel that this is really cheap and it is far uh, more useful for the IoT applications so <clears throat> if you want to control uh, less devices at your home please go for the device thank you for watching and if you like my video subscribe to my channel thank you